Hello friends. Do you ever feel like you are not in control? Well, here is a thought for the week. This global pandemic that we're going through is difficult for all of us. And it affects us in different ways, although it does affect us all. But one of the things that I've been learning is just how little control I actually have in life. I like to think that I do have control, that if I just try hard enough or assert myself in a certain way, then the things I want to happen will happen. But the longer that I'm in this pandemic and the longer that I live life, the more I realize that that's just not true. Stephanie Laudbill in her book, Signs of Life, Resurrecting Hope Out of Ordinary Losses, shares her own personal stories and experiences with the loss or what she calls the death of plans. And in that chapter, she, she talks so specifically, so starkly about the loss of control. What she says is that plans change. People die. Economies crash. Jobs fall through. Our illusion of control is exposed as exactly that, an illusion. I've never really thought of my sense of control as an illusion. But the more that I live, the more I start to see what Stephanie is talking about. And when we come to realize that we are really not in control and that anything can happen in our own lives or in this world at any moment, sometimes we come to a place of loss, of knowing what to do. Well, the Christian response, the response of faith, is not to stay in that loss of control, but rather to put our hope and our trust in someone who is in control, that of course being God. Let me be clear, by, by control, I don't mean that God is somehow up in the sky calling on all the shots or manipulating things so that they work exactly in the way that God wants them to work. No, God has actually given free reign and free will to this world. And sometimes things just happen. Or other times we have to deal with the consequences of people's actions. What I mean by God being in control is not that everything needs to work out in a certain way, but rather that God sees it all, that God is above everything, that God knows it all, and that God is sovereign. The point of grace, the point of hope, is that the God who is above it all steps down to be in relationship with us and to walk with us through all the experiences of life. And therein lies the hope that Stephanie tries to resurrect out of the loss, the death of plans. What she says later on is that every yes to the Spirit's prompting in our lives, however unexpected or even unwelcome, cracks us open bit by bit, enabling us to respond to the Spirit's direction and to participate in God's redemptive work in and around us. No, we don't always have control. And yes, life can change in a split second. But the hope that we have as Christians, as followers of Jesus, is not that if we try hard enough, we will be in control. Rather, it's the call to surrender our control and to say yes to the invitation to live in relationship with our Creator. Our Creator who sees us and who knows what we go through, and who journeys with us along the way. It's a beautiful invitation that I hope you take with you the next time you feel like you're not in control. And as you go into the rest of your day and this week, may the peace of Christ be with you.